All right, generals, welcome back to Wheat Fuse Tutorials. And on this episode, we are going to attack the rubber that was north of our village. The first thing I want to talk about is the uh, preparation and the planning. So in this episode, we're going to talk about assault guns, uh, new unit type, and uh, we'll discuss range and vision, and we'll also talk about scouting. So let's look at assault guns. If you remember the compa comparison that we had earlier and we talked about the attack value versus building, if you look, the assault gun is astronomically better than both the light tank and the recon vehicle. As a matter of fact, this is the best unit versus building in the game. And even though you get this unit at level five, it will be useful throughout the end of the game. It does, however, have a slight problem. And that is its attack range, which is a 180, is greater than its sighting range. I can leave you in a situation like this. In this photograph, the assault gun is in range of the building, but it actually can't see the building, and it can't shoot at whatever it can't see. So that brings us to another type of unit, and that is our scouts. If you look, we have a recon vehicle and a scout aircraft, and they both have a vision of 350. So if you combine scouting with your assault gun, the scout will spot for the assault gun, and then the assault gun gets to attack using its maximum range. This is very important throughout the entire game. You should never have any of your low vision, long range units, of which assault guns is one, wandering around by themselves. They should always be scouted for. So that brings us to the attack on the rubber. So let's talk about how we're going to do this. The first thing we're going to have to do is we need a scout to provide vision. Then the assault guns, with their high attack value versus buildings, they're going to kill the building. Now, if you notice, there are three rebel tanks and two level five sniper towers there. We actually want to leave those up. We don't want to destroy them for two reasons. We don't want to take the casualties. And quite frankly, leaving them up both saves resources from having to rebuild them and also helps if someone else attacks. After the assault guns kill the building, we're going to have them pull back. Then our three light tanks are going to move up and they're going to distract the turrets, and they're going to keep the they're going to keep the tanks from attacking the infantry. The infantry will then move in and capture the building. Once the building is captured, everybody pulls back, and we'll let the sniper towers kill the tanks. All right, let's watch it play out. 